Now we're going to look at finding the equations for parallel and perpendicular lines. First, let's look at some parallel lines. These are parallel lines. And what do you notice? You notice about their steepness is that they're both going the same direction, and they're both going at the same rate. So that would tell us that parallel lines have the same slope. All right? So then if we go and look at the perpendicular lines, in this case, we can see that they're going in opposite directions. So we know that they are at least going to have opposite signs, but their steepness are opposite the reciprocal. But when we look at these then, let's see if we can use the same ideas that we've found equations with. We have to know something about the slope, we need to have a y-intercept, and plug and chug what we know. So we have a parallel line here that is parallel to, with this, the slope is negative 3, so the parallel has the same slope. And your line contains 1, 2. Remember, this is your x and y. So x is equal to 1, y is equal to 2, and we're going to find b. So rewriting it, y, which is 2, is equal to m, negative 3, times x, which is 1, plus b. So if this is 2 is equal to negative 3 plus b, if we continue and just add 3 to both sides, we find out that 5 is equal to b. So our equation would be y is equal to slope, negative 3, times our x, because we need the variable holder, plus our b, which is 5. Let's try another one. Now we have an equation at a point, but it's parallel to this line. And the slope of this line, remember that's the coefficient on x, so the slope that here is 7, so our slope is also 7, same slope for parallel. And again, we have our x and our y, so x is 4, y is 5. Up here it asks you, is b equal to 3? It shouldn't be equal to 3, because if it were equal to 3, then we'd have exactly the same line. And we're just trying to find one that's parallel to it, a different line. So we don't know what b is. No, it is not equal to 3. So let's find the equation. I'm going to start up here above this b for plugging in my equation. y, which is 5, is equal to m, 7, times x, which is 4, plus the b I don't know. So 5 is equal to 28 plus b. If I subtract 28 from both sides, I should end up with negative 23. So that would give me y is equal to the slope, which is 7, times x, plus my y or yes, y intercept b, which is negative 23. One more for parallel. What if I have an equation that's not set equal to y, but I still have to know the slope of that line? So I'm going to take this equation, and over here I'm going to say negative x plus 2y is equal to 5 and I'm going to solve for y so that I can find the slope. I'm going to put it in y-intercept form. So I'm going to add the x to both sides. So 2y is equal to x plus 5, the x in front, because it's going to look like y equal mx plus b that way. Divide everything by 2 and everything by 2. So that's going to be x over 2 or 1 half x plus 5 over 2. Okay, now this is my slope, 1 half x. So the slope is 1 half. And then they gave me the point negative 4 and negative 9, and I have to find my b. So I had to solve for y to find out what the slope was, and then I can follow like we've normally done. y is negative 9 equal to m 1 half times my x, which is negative 4, plus my b. Negative 9 1 half times negative 4 would be half of negative 4 is negative 2 plus b. Add 2 to both sides. Negative 9 plus 2 would be negative 7. So y should be equal to my slope, which we said was 1 half x minus 7. All right, let's look at perpendicular lines then. Perpendicular, remember, means opposite reciprocal. So if m1 is equal to 3, then the perpendicular slope is going to be equal to negative 1 third. 
Okay, so we, we want to find the perpendicular line to that y is equal to 1 half x plus 100. So the slope here is 1 half, and that makes my slope the opposite reciprocal. So it's going to be a negative, and the reciprocal of 1 half would be 2. So it's negative 2. x is 1, y is 2 from my point. We don't know what b is. So then we're going to have y, which is 2, is equal to m, negative 2, times x, which is 1, plus b. So 2 is equal to negative 2 plus b. And adding 2 to both sides, b is going to be equal to 4. So y is equal to my new slope, negative 2x plus 4, using my m and my b. Let's try another one. What if it's not again in y-intercept form? We still can find the slope. We need to find the slope so we can then find the perpendicular slope. We already know that x and y are 6 and 5, so let's put those in there since we, since we know that already. And if I take 6x minus 2y and solve it for y, that's a negative 9. Then I want to subtract 6x from both sides. So negative 2y is equal to negative 6x minus 9. And divide everything by negative 2. So negative 6 over negative 2x minus 9 over negative 2. Negative 6 divided by negative 2 is positive 3x minus, or actually it's a negative divided by a negative, so it's plus 9 over 2. But remember, this is the only thing we care about. This slope is 3, so the perpendicular one is going to be negative. This is positive, so we need a negative, and then the reciprocal of 3 is 1 third. So, plugging into our equation, y is 5, is equal to m, which is negative 1 third, times 6 plus b. 5 is equal to negative 1 third times 6 is 2 plus b. Adding 2 to both sides, 7 will equal b. So now I know that y is equal to my new slope. And here's my b. So y is equal to negative 1 third x plus 7. Finally, let's do a tricky one. Perpendicular to y equal 8 and contains the point negative 21, negative 25. So you're looking at this and saying y equal 8, how do I know uh, slope? Well, think about it. What kind of line is y equal 8? All the y's are 8. So you've got these x's and you've got these y's and these are all 8. 1, 2, 3. If all the y's are 8, it's going to be a horizontal line. And horizontal lines have zero slope. So the perpendicular line is going to be a no slope, which is a x equal equation. So we look at this one and we say no slope, so we really can't do any algebra to it. But we know that x is negative 21, y is negative 25, plug in what we know. But this is all we really need to know. It's going to be a vertical line, and that's an x equal equation. And what is x equal to through our point? Negative 21.